and here we are again. Today we are flying out the new, well, it's not really new anymore, Lightning at 9.3, the Lightning F-53 for the Arabian Air Force. And up front, I'm going to tell you, I do not like this thing. I don't think it's very good, but it is definitely workable at 9.3. You are extremely fast. You have pretty decent missiles. The main issue is the guns that you have. And on top of that, it's the airframe. The airframe on paper is not too bad. You are extremely fast. You go about 1325 kilometers an hour on the deck before you start ripping. Ignore my bad aim. But the main issue is just the unwieldiness of this frame. And you'll see plenty of it in this video. Once you get to lower speeds, it just kind of has a mind of its own. Now I'm going to start off with these two little dogfights. Just to show you how floppy it is. And keep in mind I'm mostly using my keyboards here to input my controls. To make sure that I have the most amount of control over the plane as humanly possible. The thing is, this thing just kind of has a mind of its own. And right now we are fighting an A5C. He's turned the wrong way, so I decided to pull back in. The F4C right now is turning back into us. And just on top of the fact that you can't really put this frame where you want it to go. Look at this. I'm trying to... It just flops around. Now, my aim is horrible with this plane to begin with. But the fact that it's very unwieldy and the fact that it just has a horrible gun placement. It's in a gun pack at the bottom. Certainly doesn't help my scenario. So right now we killed the A5C. I'm going to be extending out. I'm going to try to get my speed back up. Because the acceleration of this thing, the climb rate, the top speed... The turn rate is all not too bad. It's actually all pretty solid. And it shouldn't be 9.3, especially with these missiles. The thing is, the second you run out of these missiles, you become borderline useless. All of these guys then go RTB. I do as well. And I get killed by the MiG-19 just after I take off. And just before we get started, I'm looking to upload a video every day of this week. So stay tuned for that. I'm going to be uploading an A4N video tomorrow. I'm going to see how that all goes. And then decide what I'm going to do from there on out. I'm looking to maybe start doing one every other day. Now, in an up tier, this thing will not be very great. If you get down tier, however, you are virtually untouchable. The main issue will then, of course, be having no countermeasures. And if you run into something like an A10 or very high priority target like the AR2, which just came across, then yes, you might probably struggle quite a little bit, and especially if you start fighting 10.3. And 10.3 is something that happens very, very often. It's very annoying. F5Cs, F8Es, MiG-19s, which are basically the same BR as you. It's a very frustrating plane and you'll see that in the way that I'm flying it. I'm trying to keep my speed, I'm trying to be fast, I'm trying to pop in and out of fights. And if I see someone that's pretty slow, I can bet on the fact that he won't be able to dodge the red top. We shove it in a steel pipe and he blows up just like the F9F that we just came across. And after the kill we're gonna start and try turning into the middle of the game. This is the way I fly it most of the time. I like to go to the outskirts, to high altitude. Pick someone over that's kind of isolated. Probably get a free missile kill because most people are not really paying that much attention at the start. Get maybe a free red top kill. And then I will start to help out my team. Now sometimes it bites you in the ass. But 9 out of 10 times you won't be able to carry in this thing anyway. So you're probably better off to just pick up some stragglers. And go towards the middle of the map. And try to see if you can secure someone that's then tangled up in a dogfight. You do not want to 1v1 people. I just tried a third party. Which is definitely the most success I've had. I've tried to spearhead and you just end up getting swarmed at the start. Because you do have a pretty hefty performance advantage on the rest of your team. Of course on paper. You will be very far ahead. You will be very high. You will be isolated. And then you become the guy that we want to kill at the start. You do not want to be that guy. To all my patrons, thank you very much. We'll be in the top right yet again. As well as another donation that just came in. So we dive in. MiG-17 is pretty slow. He won't be able to turn out. So I just lob a red top at him. That's two red tops, two kills. And I haven't even shot my guns yet. And this is how it's very often going to end up going. You just... Hitting people with these guns is quite a challenge. And then even when you do hit them, guess what's going to happen? They raid it. Death fans, or the ACANs, whatever you want to call them. They're all the same guns anyway. At least in terms of the, the rounds that you shoot. Because the filler is still bugged, the shrapnel is completely inaccurate and it does virtually no damage. At least very often. Sometimes you get a lucky hit or lucky kill rather. Well with this thing I would still call it a lucky hit to be honest. J25 coming in here, I think I could lob it in but I was a bit too late. Didn't lead it properly 
and I end up wasting the missile. A little bit unfortunate if it was a little bit further away or it was a little bit slower, that would have hit. But none of those are the case. So we go ahead on with an F4C, we try to dodge the head-on. And I'm not going to tangle with that. I'm just going to extend for a little bit and see if I can engage anyone else. And the fact that I just shot a red top and I didn't kill anyone with it, it's going to hinder our performance here quite a hefty amount. But luckily our team is keeping everyone busy. So we are going to capitalize on that, turn around and see if we can again to party someone. Now the red tops are pretty susceptible to flares, so do be careful when you shoot at people like the F5s. Because if they flare it, very likely your missile is going to do absolutely jack shit. Reduce speed will appear on your screen very very often. Don't really worry about it, it doesn't rip until 25 as I said earlier. 23 I think it is. We miss, no big deal. Well, it is a big deal, but we're going to pretend it's not a big deal and just extend out again. We're going to use our speed, get out of the area and then see if we can come back in and help our team again. And you'll see that the second we start pulling very hard, just like right here, and I'm going vertical here, I know. I'm doing a very, very aggressive turnaround, but it doesn't really like to keep its speed. And more of that a little bit later on here. F5C gets set on fire, so we are now free to ignore him because he's going to be a burning wreck in any second now. And then there's a Harrier coming head on with us. And of course an F4C. Now, I could use the missile here to kill the F4C, but the F4C is going very, very slow. It would be a free kill, but it would also be a waste for missile. And the missile can of course be used to potentially get another free kill. Now, we just pull the trigger down, because we can absolutely not aim these guns. Down he goes, and we switch targets to the F5. Now, the F5 is just going to be a hard counter to us, luckily. He's already engaged with someone else. So he is completely going to be ignoring us. And we just get a nice shot in. Just kidding. I still can't aim. Don't forget about that part. So the F5 is now engaged with someone else. I decide I'm not going to do a full 180. I'm just going to go for the J25. He's going to give us a shot. And then after I miss, then I will be able to pull in for the F5. Luckily, we actually managed to hit the J25. Call me surprised. We should have missed at him because I don't want him to get stolen. Because this is one of the later enemies in the game now in retrospect i shouldn't have done that i should have just let him fly with one wing but you know i cannot look in the future and that's gonna be kill number three and after a little bit of cruising there's an f4c as well as an av8 now these two guys i'm not really worried about 2v1 because i have a mig 19 right next to me so for now i'm gonna actually be very very aggressive now if i had my red top here that i shot at the j25 for no apparent reason this FOC right here would have been absolutely boned. Well, it would have been if I could have aimed regardless. But I compress completely and I don't manage to get the lead in that I needed. And then the MiG-19 crashes. The millisecond I go aggressive. And now I'm stuck with these two guys in a fight that I cannot get away from anymore. MiG-19 really had to crash right there. I shouldn't have actually bet on the fact he was going to stay alive. But that's how it is. Here we are. And the AVA then does the most horrible thing he could have done to me. Which is the correct move. So I'm now stuck with his F4C and the AV8 is flying away from me. He just took off. He has two missiles left. At this point, it doesn't really matter what I do anymore. I'm forced to go for one of them. I thought I could kill the F4C if he went downwards here. Which I kind of bet on because that's what most people like to do. Unfortunately, again, he also does the right thing. And he actually goes vertical. Now, I made some mistakes here. Then again, even if I had kept my missile and I had slammed the F4C with it. I probably would have still lost the 1v1 to the Harrier. So... In the end, it doesn't really matter, but I still want to look at the things that I did wrong, because at the end of the day, that might win a game in the future. Basically not self salvageable, but I still learn something from it. Now, we are going high, just as predicted. Just as I mentioned earlier, I like to get some altitude, especially in the down tiers, because there's really no one here that can really contest you. And the F100 did the absolute best thing for us. He turns away, he tries to dodge us doing so he gives us heat signature and he's way too slow to really do anything so for now we are just keeping this uh, altitude a little bit trying to look around to see if there's anyone trying to go for us i hear a jet he is close there he is a4e not a big deal that's an a9b so you know that's <laughs> well do i really need to explain that one so we are just going to go horizontal we are still going mac one he definitely isn't so we have a very hefty energy advantage here. And I'm just going to do a little spiral. If he pitches up after us, he's going to stall his ass out. And we are going to do the same, except we are going to stall right on top of him. Now, we are completely alone here. And I really can be asked to, to deal with this guy. 
because he's probably going to chase me around because he's the first guy that he, well i'm the first guy that he engaged so i'm just gonna stick on this guy we are alone for now i probably should look around a little bit more here but it's a down tier there are no high powered missiles in this lobby bar maybe one or two a tents but they are nowhere to be found and they won't be very close to us and now again look at the floppiness of this airframe now this a4e has absolutely no chance he can't run away he can't out turn us and he even bleeds much energy as us now sure he has a much more stable frame i barely miss him there or i just miss him there i should say but this guy is just gonna drag us all the way to the deck now using the missile here is really no use because he has of course flares and i only have one left so i'm just gonna stay on his ass i'm gonna shoot and he just pulls out he's gonna roll into the ground i don't have to commit to him anymore i'm just gonna break off and the A4E then decides to turn little Bobby and Janice into two orphans by slamming into their apartment complex. For now we are just going to keep flying straight. We're going to try and keep our speed. Especially get our speed up a little bit again. And see who we can engage. Now we have an A4 on our left. We have an A4 in front of us. We have an A4 on our right as well. There's A4s everywhere. Which one do you want to engage first? Now whichever doesn't have an A10 next to it. So I'm just going to be flying away from this area. He's already triggered by me. And he's already shooting missiles at me. I guess the orphanage joke was a little bit too rough for him. So for now we are just going to fly away. And see who we can engage. Now of course I have one guy on the left. And I have three on the right. Now normally I would say kill the one on the left. But on the right there's actually a team fight going on. And I want to keep my team alive. Because I really do not feel like carrying 1vx in this thing. Team is looking pretty good for now however. And another thing there's sort of an A10 behind us. Covering one of the A4s. Don't want to deal with that. And the guy on the left has a G91 next to him. So I'm expecting him to be killed by him before that. So I'd rather just go in here and actually get some kills out of this match. So we have an F11 here. We're going to try and lock him up. Slave the missile. But he's going to try and come head on with us. I know that he has very poor elevator authority. So we'll just pull below him. And switch our targets to the G91. Now I'm going to prep this missile in case he pulls into us. Or turns away from us. Instead he pulls into us. And we manage to just very quickly shoot him out of the air. We go straight up. And see if we can stall on top of this A4. Without this F11 coming in to ruin our day. But the F11 for now is kind of occupied. The A3 then lightnings. Ah, see what I did there. That lightning on fire. And we are now dead on the 6. He's way too slow to do anything. So we're just going to burst him down. Take his wingtip off. And we are going to see if he can fly into the ground. Of course he cannot. Because it's an A4E and he doesn't have an actual damage model. So he's going to keep flying here. I'm trying to pull him up so he might flat spin himself. He doesn't. But he is completely boned. And I'm just going to leave him to the rest of my team. And see if I can help out. The MiG-19 ahead of us of course. MiG-19. It's a MiG-19 versus two A4s. A4E then takes another victim with one wingtip. But the MiG-19 here is 2v1. And even though they are A4Es. If they're playing it right. It might actually be pretty annoying for him to actually kill both of them. So we are now closing the gap. One of them then uh, is going to proceed to go down pretty quickly. He just flies away actually. The guy that dies was the guy on R6. We are closing very very fast here. And I want to see if I can maybe get a quick kill out of it. I'm not sure where the second one went. But I'm not sure if he ripped. Just take a quick look. I just see his state and I'm like okay I'm just going to leave him. No need to kill that one. He is completely boned. I'm just going to fly in front of him. See if I can bait a missile. Unfortunately for us he doesn't do any of that and he just decides to crash without giving anyone the kill because he in the end wasn't actually crit by anyone. And Teaspoon the absolute team player that he is then he flew away from his teammate to uh, missile and AI. How nice of him. So someone gets blind hunted look at him he's across the map shooting at some AI and we are engaged with an A4E and it's basically the same story at the start of the game. And versus planes like this it's very easy to just stall them out do whatever you want. Because he really doesn't have the energy to touch us here. But. I really don't have to. I, when you ask me how do I fly this thing versus MiG-21 SMTs. How do I fly this thing versus F-5Cs. F-8Es. Basically anything. That's 9.7 or higher. It's a matter of them being bad. A matter of you getting lucky. And a matter of you actually being able to aim these guns. Because if they have flares. The chance of you hitting one of these red tops is pretty low unless of course they are completely ignoring it. And I just shoot a rat up at him here because he's the last guy alive and I want to get the skill instead of the MiG-19. Because in my heart I want to call as a quote unquote ace. Of course, through all the circumstances that didn't come to fruition. Thank you all for watching. See you all tomorrow with an A4N video.